Hello everybody and welcome back to the workbench here at Oak Hill Works. Um, first thing you're going to notice is everything's a little bit more progressed and some of it's a bit more progressed than the thumbnail. That is because unfortunately I filmed a reasonable amount of footage but the laptop had other ideas. The audio on it is completely lost some of the footage is junk so i think what i'm going to do is remove the audio from that and insert it as a time lapse after we do our introduction so yes what have what are we doing what have we done well since last time see the chassis and the wheels have been painted. I've attached the coupling rods to make sure they fit. You'll notice some cables coming up from the pickups, although the pickups aren't there yet. But what I have done on the bottom is I've replaced the plastic pickup block with a bit of copper clad. So I can just solder pickups straight on so they go straight from the back of the wheels, soldered onto here, giving me a better connection. That's the theory anyway. So that should make the whole build process that little bit better. And I have also, you know, in, in the bit of footage you're about to watch, depending on how much of it is salvageable, the cylinders have been constructed, which were soldered together, and there are some bits that they loop right round so this is one bit of metal on each one so they will sit like that and the front pony which it turned out there's an issue with this in the kit and it's actually not quite long enough so you can see here if I get the card down you can see there where I've cut through it and inserted an extra bit of white metal, filed it all back to shape so we have a slightly longer pony. How it was, well, when it was on there originally, it was sitting underneath. If I just put it upside down to hold the wheels in place, and the wheels were there with the cylinders sitting on top of them, whereas now they are pushed out to where they should be. I got a scale drawing out and measured up how long this actually needed to be to get them into the right place so they are now correct as per the prototype so that will now sit and the wheels will be about there they're actually held in place by a screw drops down through here through here and into here and in fact even the cylinders had to be modified slightly so the way this bracket was was pulling the cylinders too far back and they couldn't it was trying to put them into the chassis which obviously is no good so this hole has been opened out backwards a bit so that the screw now drops straight down through and into the chassis So, without further ado, I shall roll the time lapse. I hope you enjoy. See you shortly.
Okay, welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse and that everything went okay with it. I'd say that's the first time lapse I've ever edited, so hopefully it's all gone okay. I'm sure you can establish that as I'm recording this, I haven't actually edited it yet. So let's hope for the best, eh? So what do we still need to do to finish the chassis? And in fact, finish what will be the last practical video on the K class, I believe. So I'm not going to bore you all by soldering the body together in a video. You've seen me solder. You know how white metal soldering works, hopefully. If not, go backwards a few videos to when we first started this project and we did an how to white metal solder when we were building the tender. So, do enjoy that. I'll sit here and wait for you. Okay, I'm hoping you're back now. Brilliant. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that wonderful stuff. It really does mean a lot. Something I forgot to mention before we did the time lapse is the pony wheels. They've actually been replaced. These are the ones that came in the kit. These ones are the right size. Quite a difference, isn't it? So yes, these ones will go elsewhere. They'll sit in my spare wheels pot for a while, I would imagine. These ones are the right size for the Loco. Again, I've had the drawing out, so I saw these things on it when I was doing that. So yes, we need to finish the chassis. So we need to finish the cylinder assembly. Get it attached. Along with the coupling rods. We need to get the bogey assembled. Uh, the pony assembled and attached so that that really is as simple as soldering that in there now to finish the pony but then that needs attaching obviously we've got the gear to make up for the cylinders so let's start with the cylinders we have these joints that I still don't know what they're called I can't even remember whether I've told you I can't remember what they're called or whether that was in the video that's been corrupted but I can't remember what they're called hopefully you've got that now that go just on the end of these on both sides so we are going to tin the ends of these with some proper solder and then we're going to cool the iron down so that we can solder the white metal bits on so I have the iron hot I have some flux here And we shall just tin them. So let's bring the block in. Just spread the solder a bit just to thin it down so it's not quite such thick blobs on the end and now we shall turn the soldering iron down and let it cool and whilst we do that shall snip these off their sprue Now 
and remove the extra bumps here. So they are ready, they are nice and cool. So what we want to do now is get these in place like that. Apply a bit of flux. Unfortunately the iron hasn't quite cooled down yet. Bring in the white metal solder. And it's pretty much there. That went well, didn't it? Definitely what we wanted to happen. Let's get that back in place. Kai really does not want to stay there now, does it? the solder flowed down onto here and made them that slight bit thicker there we go there's that no, there's not that. This is definitely one of those times where you need a glamorous assistant. You know, someone on the show has got to be glamorous. And there we go, we've got it attached. Excellent. Let's prep the other side, shall we? So that's that side done, and again I'm going to put some on the back. And that has cooled, and there we go. They are both attached, thankfully. So that sits there, they are clear of everything. And the next step is the bits of rod that go into them. This is a nice simple job. We detach all the parts first. Now 
and then we bring the connecting rods in. This one's just oh, that's a bit of solder. That's why it looks like it's got a bit of flash. That's how small these bits I'm working with are. Mistaking them for off cuts of solder. So for these we have screws. Tiny, tiny screws. And the screw goes through the back plate and then through the rod. And then through there with a bolt then going on it. And you can see that leaves us with a sort of channeled section there, top and bottom, which goes either side of these bits. So now that I've shown that, I need to get this back off. Oh dear, that hole is full of flash. I should have checked that before soldering these together, really. really is rather fiddly getting this through this hole. Now we want this bit to be the right way round. Again, quite fiddly. even got as far as putting the nut on it yet and those really are tiny And obviously all this will need cutting down. So that there's not a big massive bit of the screw sticking out the front, sticking out the side of the motion. There's my tiny screwdriver.
and so when this goes on here this bolt comes back off this goes over the screw and the bolt goes back on but first I've got another one of these to do so I'll be right back and we're back everyone with that now finished so we have both sides on here I have also applied a tiny little bit of solder to the joint at the back here to stop the plate at the back spinning out and I've cut down the extra long screws and just, just cut them down with a pair of snips filed the excess off the screws and put some solder on them and that is that done so back to the chassis this drops down into place and then we are going to spin a bolt up the top to secure it and that will make sure our cylinders don't go anywhere And then we can take the screws off these little wheel sets. the wheels on they really look like they could use with some washers which the kit does not provide so I will probably source something for them myself And there we have the cylinders and gear all attached. So the only thing left to do is to drop the front wheel set in there. Drop that on. apply flux and solder ensure the wheel set still turns and we've not soldered it in place that would be rather silly after all Then we're going to apply some flux at the back of the pony. And 
and some more solder. We can now turn the iron off, flip this upside down, slide the wheel onto the bottom of the same screw that is holding the cylinders on, tighten another bolt onto the bottom, and there we have our chassis ready to go. The front pony has plenty of movement and if we spin the motor all the driving wheels turn as does the gear albeit very very slowly but that is everything working. So all I have left to do to this is finish off painting so the cylinders and the pony need painting the dcc chip needs fitting and the body needs making obviously but there we have our k class so thank you for watching everyone i hope you have enjoyed please do remember to like comment and subscribe if you do know what these bits that hang off the side are called do tell me in the comments down below, it would be very greatly appreciated. And until next time, bye for now.